I created Eugenia Lavender about two years ago, and I really started writing the stories when I was pregnant. I think she's funny, she's a bit feisty, and I love her because she's really human and really well-rounded. She's flawed, but yet she's inspirational, and she challenges the world that she lives in. Different characters come along in different stories. You've got her dad, who's Professor Lavender, who works in this dinosaur museum. And she always goes to him when she's got a problem. Um, she does in um, Lovely Illness. And, for example, she's got her heart's beating like a drum and her legs are going wibbly-wobbly. She doesn't know what's wrong with her. So, and, and he refers every single problem to dinosaurs. He's kind of always in that world. And he goes, ah, what's wrong with you is the Lovely Illness. He says it's slightly contagious, um, it's, but it's not serious. But you see, you wouldn't have that problem if you were a praying mantasaurus because what a praying mantasaurus does, she sees who she likes, she sets the trap, she eats him, and she's done with him. So Eugenius thinks, oh, my God, ingenious. That's what I'll do. I'll set a trap for Will Darcy, the guy that she likes. She kind of, you know, goes through different challenges and you see her learn and progress. And I think she, she gets better as a person, but equally gets in more mischief. It's almost like the more trouble she gets in, the more she grows. There's a little bit of me in Eugenia Lavender, if I'm really honest. It's the, the bit that I can't get away with in real life. For example, there's a moment where she calls up her mother on Good Morning Britain and she demands to speak to her and, and there's a voice saying, I'm sorry, I can't put you through. And she's like, injustice, slams the phone down. And of course, I want to be able to do that. Or there's other bits where she's kind of, she really tries, she fails, she's inspirational, she's flawed, she's well-rounded and she's human. And for that, I mean, I love her because she's a trier. And, um, and she does care about, or she does care about other people and sometimes she can be selfish. And for that reason, um, I love her. And I hope that you love her as much as I do.